Hi everyone, and welcome to another week of online story time. I'm Miss Dana. I'm one of the youth librarians here at the Fox River Grove Memorial Library. This week, we're going to talk about Fourth of July. It's one of my favorite holidays to celebrate over the summer with all the picnics and hanging out with friends, and we have sparklers and fireworks. It is also uh, the United States Independence Day, which we consider its birthday. So, with that being said, I wanted to give a big shout out to Neil Porter Books, Candlewoods Books. Miss Carol and Jim Gill for allowing us to use their materials during today. So let's get started with our hello song. Hi everybody. Let's sing. Hello everybody. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello everybody. How do called My Fourth of July by Jerry Spinanelli. Noise! I wake up. I rush to the front window. Parade drum cymbals, pinwheels, flags, tricycles. It's the best day of all, the Fourth of July. I join the parade. Grown-ups laugh and wave and point. I'm still in my pajamas. When I get back, Dad is fetching the wagon. Hooray, he's home all day. Mom's in the kitchen getting the picnic ready. The pie's in the oven. What kind? I ask her. You'll see, she says. She always says you'll see. The pie is always cherry crumb. Time to do my job, I ask. Mom's hands me the shaker. Get to work, she says. I get to add the final touch of sprinkle of paprika on the deviled eggs. Everyone goes to the wagon. Hot dogs, hot dog rolls, mustard, chopped onions, relish, pickles. I look at the clock. I call to everyone, hurry! I'm in charge of hurrying. There are only 25 picnic tables at the park. We must not be late. The wagon is filling up. Peanut butter filled celery boats, potato salad, napkins, tablecloth, red, white, and blue cupcakes. And in goes the surprise in the white box. There's always a surprise. What it is it? I ask. I always ask. You'll see. Mama always says. Paper cuts, paper cups, plastic forks. Are we ready? Wait, I shout. Don't forget the pie. I'm in charge of not forgetting. Finally, out the door. Mom hands me a banana. I'm so excited. I forgot to eat breakfast. Down the street the, to the railroad tracks. Look, black cloud, thunder. Oh no, storm's coming. Woohoo! It's the train rumbling around the bend. Flags 
flutter from the flanks of the great engine and wave, we wave at the engineer. Down the path by the creek to the park. Hurry, hurry! I grab the pickle jar and I run ahead. I plunk it down on an empty table. It's ours. I can't wait. I beg for the surprise. Mama says, okay, go ahead. I tear open the white box. Chocolate covered strawberries, big as plums. Mom and dad watch me. They can't stand it. They gobble their surprises too. For this is the best day. The park is my backyard. Face painting, I'm a raccoon. Three legged sack race. My friend Harry and I come in last. We're laughing too hard to care. Back to the table. Food, eat. We look at our we cook our hot dogs on the grill in the gazebo. We wait our turn. I like mine with black stripes. The talent show is at the band show. There's my neighbor Sally. She sings the song called Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I'm Bogglepust. Sally, my next door neighbor Sally, sings like an angel. Concert at the gazebo. The Tootle Town 10 plays zippy music. Little kids rush to the stage of the gazebo to dance. Parents, too. Here comes Mom and Dad. Back at the band shell, the biggest flag I've ever seen is unrolling behind the stage. We stand for the star-spangled banner. The whole park is silent and still. Back to the picnic table. Eat, eat, eat. Nose race. I win. Run to the zoo. Quack at the ducks. The goat makes me laugh. Monkey fingers reaching. More food. I'm beginning up. I'm becoming a potato pickle, hot dog, cupcake pie. Slow down, Mama says. But she doesn't mean it. She's smiling. The shadows are getting long. The sun is in the trees. The best part part of the best day is coming. Fireworks. I eat the last deviled egg. We toss the trash. Give away the pickles. All that's left for the wagon is the tablecloth. Hurry, I say. I'm in charge of getting a good place. We find one in the outfield slopes of the baseball field. Soon we're surrounded. I think everyone in town is here. 5,000 people, Dad says. Shadows creep across the field. Oh, the minutes crawl as I slide back in my wagon. It's the longest wait there is ever. <gasps> a thump in the dark. Suddenly, an umbrella of lights. 5,000 faces aglow. Fireworks! My eyes cannot hold the wonders I see. My heart is cheering. A cannon booming valley. I hold my ears. I scream with joy. And it's Car lights flashing, smoke drifting from the baseball field. It smells like burnt toast. And once again, I feel something I haven't felt since the 3rd of July. I feel sleepy. The tablecloth becomes a pillow. In my wagon, I go. My own little train with Dad as the engineer. Through the park, across the creek, and down the path. I see nothing but stars. There are only the stars and my wagon and me. I'm overfilled in every way. I've seen too much, run too long, been too happy. I close my eyes. I am in charge of sleeping. The end. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to sing happy birthday, since we have a cake, to the United States. Are you ready? Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday United States, happy birthday to you, yay! All right, so our next thing, we are going to blow out the candles. All right, five birthday candles. I wish there were more. I blew one out. And then... There were four. Four birthday candles, pretty as can be. I blow one out. And then there are three. Three birthday candles. I hope my wish comes true. Blow one out. And then there are two. Two birthday candles. Birthday cakes are fun. 
Blow one out. And then there is one. One birthday candle. The party's almost done. Blow it out. And then there are none. I sort of wish that was a real cake because after all the candles are blown out, then you get to eat the cake. So our next song we are going to do, Mr. John's going to come and help me. And he has our pinwheels. And you can tell I'm wearing my 4th of July hat headband and I have a little 4th of July scarf and Mr. John has a 4th of July hat on. Ooh, yeah. So we are going to do this. Oh, yep. We're going to march with our pinwheel. fun doing all that stuff in place he did not go very far so we are going to read our last and final book it's called and then comes summer by Tom Renner when the days stretch out like a slow yawn and leaves and grass sparkles with dew and cheerful faces of Johnny jump up jump up then throw on flip-flops and breathe the sweet air when bumblebees bumble around in the flowers and wobblers flirt from the tree to tree and the air drums with the sound of lawnmowers. Then pump up your bike tires, dig out your helmet, and raise your seat. My, how much you've grown when the last class project is finished and your cubby is cleaned of cookie crumbs and eraser bits and the end of the year hugs have been given <laughs> then swap out our backpacks and notebooks for pitchers and cups when the daylight pushes back bedtimes and the crickets crick crick in the evening air and the bugs as big as thumbs bang against the window then play hide and seek until the darkness wins when stores unfurl the stars and stripes and flags wave from porches and cars and the whole town seems wrapped in bunting, then dress your bike up and pedal to the parade. Oh, look, he's wearing my headband. Oh, and there's John's hat. 
When the bands march by, left, right, left, right, and the manner of the floats pass by, and the scouts and pioneers toss candy. Then grab your blanket and watch the night explode in colorful sprays. When every day is like Saturday, and porches and lawns and sidewalks are playgrounds, and a familiar jungle interrupts or jingle interrupts a game. Then race to be the first in line. Almond fudge, please. When the dog days of summer roll around and it's so hot, you're practically <sighs> panting and not even the sprinklers provide relief. Then it's time to head to the lake. Roll down the windows and smell the hot, dry grass. Shout your favorite songs at the birds swooping across the fields and ask for the millionth time, are we there yet? When the familiar signs appear at last and the silver lake winks through the trees and old friends run to greet you. Then scramble out of the car, dash down to the beach and swim till the sun is low and your lips are blue. And when dinner is over and stories have been told and your fingers are sticky with marshmallow and chocolate and the fire burns down to a glimmering coals, then snuggle to your sleeping bag and plan for tomorrow's adventure. The end. All right, everybody. I'm so glad that you were able to join me today. So we are going to end with our goodbye song. Now you can get musical instruments at home or you can do the hand motions with me. Either is fine. The choice is yours. All right. Are you ready? I don't know if that's ready yet. Goodbye, my friends, and I hope you have a fantastic 4th of July. Bye.